We were always intrigued by the idea of making our own custom jewelry. Even for our wedding rings, we thought about making them ourselves, but in the end we did it. So naturally, after finding out about the possibility of making our own custom silver rings here on Bali, we knew we couldn't resist. And this is why we made our way to Siedemann today. Right now, we're in front of Agung Silva, the shop where we will be making our own custom rings. The first step is to choose the right size and the design you want to go for. Okay. So you know what you're doing? Yes, I think so. I want to make something like this, but then I will leave a space here and I will put like a mountain or a volcano for Bali in the middle. Something like this. <laughs> this 100% silver, not how nothing. Because this is how I make jewelry in here, high quality. And then also you get the guarantee until your life mm -hmm. for your jewelry. Okay, so we're using 100% silver. Yes. All right. Nice. <laughs> petrol. 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 <laughs> Then, it was time to melt the silver and make it into yes. one big piece. Like this? Yes. And here's the final product, our ring. <laughs> no, it's not, that was a stupid joke. So that's the bar of silver we're gonna be working with. Okay, so what are you doing now? I think I'm flattening the silver piece so that it gets like a flat shape. Be careful. Like a square shape. Every side uh, should be the same or the, uh, one side more? Yes, or one side more over here. Now we need to roll it so it gets more flat, like a ring shape. <laughs> decided to go for a thinner ring and also he has big fingers so he needs to put a lot of work into it to make the ring and the silver long enough so it fits around his finger. <laughs> We've got some spectators watching us and cheering us on. <laughs> Flo's ring is getting longer and longer. Wow! Afterwards, the silver had to be warmed up once again. And now my ring mm -hmm. is not supposed to be flat, but round, which is why I have to pull it through this narrow hole. And it's not easy, especially with this thing coming loose the whole time. Come on, Flo, you wanted a round ring? <laughs> yeah! Good! Woo! <laughs> so it's getting more round each time I pull it through. And it gets hot while doing it. I now need to flatten the ring more, so it gets straight and flat. I don't know how to call it. Now it's the part where I'm most afraid of because I'm not a good drawer and now I need to draw a mountain, a volcano or a mountain and I'm really afraid <laughs> that I will mess it up. 
after three tries I finally got it <laughs> and I'm sweating because I was so nervous so here's the result does it look like a volcano yes yes <laughs> I want to carve a pattern into my ring next to the volcano like this or similar to this okay so that's what he did and now it's my turn mm, don't mess it up Isabel <laughs> turns out my ring is a bit too complicated for me to make it myself which is why Mad is helping me right now So I want to write barley on the inside of my ring and we're now using stamps. So for each letter there's a stamp and he's helping me. So now that's a, what is it? A B. B, yes. B for barley. Barley. Can you see it? After engraving the silver, Isabel's ring was almost done. And all those small pieces will eventually turn into another ring. I have no clue how that will work. <laughs> and soon after, my ring was put together as well. Okay, the second to last step is sandpaper the ring before polishing. After we clean our rings with the sandpaper, the last step is now polishing the rings and that's what Mad is doing right now. Alright, and that is how it's done guys. We went from this piece of silver to this ring in just about three hours and if you like this video please consider subscribing and we'll see you in the next one bye, bye.